This is the Greenworks Pro 80 volt chainsaw with an 18 inch bar against a large dead fir tree. How will it do? Let's find out. Welcome back to another video everyone. My name is Danny and this is the Idaho Panhandlers and today we're doing a full unboxing first impressions and review video of this guy. This is the Greenworks Pro 80 volt chainsaw with an 18 inch bar. I'm super excited to open it up and show you guys what we have inside. So if you guys have been following along on the channel for any period of time, you know that we heat primarily with firewood in our house during the winter months. And so in the summer we have to cut about five to six cords of firewood every year to get by and that's on the low end. And so I'm excited to add this guy to the firewood cutting arsenal because it's just another tool that we can use out in the woods when we get firewood. Now this actually won't be my primary chainsaw. I actually just bought a brand new saw. This guy, this is the Husqvarna 572 XP Pro and it's gonna be a beast. It's got a 28 inch bar and our wood cutting season for this summer, 2023, is looking good. So you might be wondering why did I buy also an 18 inch battery operated chainsaw? So I plan to use the two saws kind of in unison. The Husqvarna, the big saw, that's gonna be my, my power horse, my workhorse. And this saw will be kind of more for the small stuff, limbing, just kind of just the small things. And I can use it around the property and just so I don't have to use the big saw on all the little things. So included in this box, you'll actually just find the chainsaw, the bar obviously, and then it comes with a battery charger and a two amp hour battery. And so as far as price goes, I actually got a smoking deal on this. So I had been looking on Amazon for quite a while at this saw and typically it's retailed right around, I believe $350. And for some reason they had it marked down 30%. So I actually snagged it for 238 bucks. And the reason I went with this Greenworks saw is because I actually have two uh, four amp hour batteries um, left over from the electric battery operated snow blower that I got in the winter time. So I'll actually have three batteries for this saw and we should get a lot of cutting out of it. So without further ado, let's open it up and see what we've got on the inside. Right here on the right, again, we have the two amp hour battery. We have the battery charger. And then, we have the chainsaw. Okay, so the first thing I notice now that I have this uh, finally in my hands, unboxed, is how stinking light it is. Now, the specs online on Amazon on the pages that I bought it from states that this saw weighs 2.05 pounds. Uh, I think it weighs a little bit more. It's not, it's not that light. Um, I could go get a scale, um, but I wanna guess that it's probably four or five pounds. It's really not heavy compared to a normal gas chainsaw. I like that it comes with a bar cover. Nice. And this is kinda what we have. It's got a good feel to it. It doesn't, it doesn't feel super cheap, which is what I like. This is definitely the smallest chainsaw I've, I think I've ever held or have had in my hand. So it's pretty nice though. So, obviously, just a few basic features here. I can tell you what, gasoline doesn't go in there. This is for your bar oil. And so you'll put your bar oil in there when it comes time, and we'll fill that up here in a little while. And then the battery goes right inside that slot, and we'll just click in. You have your power button, which I believe you probably just turn on, and then you hit this safety switch and then pull the trigger. And then I believe that'll be what turns the chainsaw on and you'll be full, full throttle at that point. So you have your chain brake. It's quiet. It's got a good feel to it too. It doesn't feel flimsy. So I like that. 
So then right here, you have your tensioner and then you have your two nuts. So you can open this guy up and then you can adjust the bar chain. But yeah, so far, I'm impressed. I like that it comes with this guard. Maybe. I'm excited to cut a tree down, show you guys how this thing performs. So I am a little bit bummed it didn't come with a chainsaw wrench or a scrunch. So I'll have to go get, uh, get another one. Hang on a sec. So let's go ahead and take the bar off. Definitely we're not very tight. Here's kind of what the, the bar and the chain look like off of the saw. Doesn't feel overly sharp, but I won't judge it quite yet. All right, so right here you have your screw for your chain tensioner, which is right here on the bottom. So if you put your scrunch in there, and you move it lefty-loosey or righty-tighty, it will go to the left or the right. And so when your chain is on the bar, that will tighten or loosen it. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but it definitely is moving left and right. Okay, so we are going to put the bar back on, kind of like so. There we go. Cover back on. So I like the chain tension. Let's make sure she spins. She does. Like that. Lock it out. I like that the hole for the bar oil is right here on top so I don't have to tilt the saw on its side. So let's go ahead and pour some in. This is never a clean process, but you know, we're just gonna have to make do try to get it so it's on camera here for you guys but and yes you could use a funnel do we do that sometimes oh shit up oh, yep there it goes god i was daydreaming all right so the bar oil is more than full yep oh sorry camera Always keep a rag nearby because this is typically how it ends up. Oh boy. All right. So that is chock full. Nothing is ever clean about a chainsaw. Oh yeah. She's dirty. Okay, so bar oil is in the machine. The battery is done charging and it only took about a half an hour, so pretty quick. I brought out my two four amp batteries and then this is the two amp battery right here that came with the machine. They're all about the same size. I'd say the two is just slightly lighter, but let's, uh, let's click this in and 
see what we can do here. Just a nice little click. Got a full charge. I have bar oil leaking out because I overfilled it. That's okay. So I just want to do kind of a sound test and see really how loud it is. I don't know. I've never used a battery operated chainsaw before and this is a uh, first time for everyone. So let's uh, see what we can do here. Okay. Try to get out of the shadow. So I believe, like I mentioned before, to turn it on, you hit the power button and you probably can't see it right now, but there's a green LED indicator that is now lit up right here next to the power button. And then you have, I believe, the safety, and then you have the, tr the trigger, and you should just squeeze it and, oh, chain breaks on, there we go. Here we go. So let's turn it on and I'm gonna hit the chain brake, see how well it works. Not bad. All right, you guys, I think it's time to go test it out and cut down a tree here on the property. We've got a few dead ones, a few in mind that I just wanna get down and uh, I think this will be a good test for it. So I hope you guys kinda enjoyed the first impressions. So far, I'm kinda digging the saw. I'm disappointed that it didn't come with a chainsaw wrench or a scrunch, but I'll, I'll probably get a hold of them and see if they can send me one just to keep with this saw. But uh, I really like the feel of it. It's got a good weight to it. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It doesn't feel cheap, um, but I'm excited to put it to the test. So let's go find a tree and let's take it down and see how it does. Okay, so right behind me, we have a nice and dead white fir tree, probably about 80 feet tall. And I think it'll be a good test for this Greenworks Pro 80 volt, 18 inch bar chainsaw. So we've got the chaps. Definitely don't want to cut my leg again with the chainsaw. That's a story. Not bad. Not bad at all. So definitely limb those pretty quick, just within a couple minutes. Not too bad so far. Let's get rid of these branches and then we'll cut the whole thing down. I'll show you that. Definitely not bad, you guys. That was, that was pretty easy and that was pretty smooth. 
Uh, it cut well, it's sharp. Um, I don't have a whole lot more to say other than I, I'm pretty impressed with how this battery operated chainsaw worked. Um, we're still operating off the one battery, so now we're gonna start limbing and see how much further we can get. She's a goner. Done. All right, you guys, so that's it. Off of one two amp hour battery, we were able to limb and clear brush in order to gain access to the tree. We cut the tree down. We cut all of these rounds. And there's no doubt in my mind, if you use a four amp hour battery, I probably could clear this whole tree. Um, I'm pretty impressed with the saw so far. Um, it's pretty lightweight. The maneuverability is really nice. It's sharp, it cuts well, and I'm hoping to use it, you know, for, for years to come. And, and I'm just overall excited to have it here on the property and to use as a sidekick with my larger saw that I showed you earlier. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up on it, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel here on the Idaho Panhandlers, and we will see you on the next video. Be sure to stay tuned for more firewood videos just like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching.